What's good, fam? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to chop a break beat inside the MPC software so that you can have your separate chops on different tracks, like your kick, your snare, your hi-hat. All of this will be on separate tracks, all right? Quick video. It's pretty simple, but, um, yeah, it, 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 it'll make it so it's you could process things differently. You could process your snare different from the hi hat and the kick. You could process your kick from different from your snare, and instead of just processing the whole drum loop. All right. So let's begin. I got this one loop that I down that I downloaded from Loop Cloud. Um, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get a, a free download of Loop Cloud, fourteen day free trial. Um, very excellent software, one of my favorites. Um, go check it out. Um, so I got this one bar break beat. I know I got a kick, hi-hat, snare, hi-hat, hi-hat, kick, snare. Let's play it. Before I go any further, just make sure you're wearing your good pair of headphones and or you're looking listening through a good pair of monitor speakers, all right? Cool. Now we got that settled. All right. So I know I got a kick, snare, and hi hat. So for that, I'm gonna need three tracks. All right. So over here, over here, we're gonna click the plus the plus button twice for track two, track three. All right. Uh, we'll name the tracks. I'm going to leave this as the kick. We'll do the next one as the snare. And the third will be the hi hat. Okay, so all you have to really do, <clears throat> all you have to do really is go over here where it says scissor. It'll tell you it's a split tool. You can hit the S on your keyboard to go to that tool. And make sure that you have the time correct on. I'm going to leave it on 16th just so I can chop on the, on the beat. Okay, so we're going to chop right here. This is a hi-hat. This is the snare. Hi-hat. Hi-hat. Kick, snare. All right. I'm going to go back to the pointer tool. Hit P. Now, let's click the snare on the two. We're going to hold shift and click the last snare. And then, excuse me, we're going to drag and drop that down to the, to the next track. We're going to do the same thing for the hi-hat. Click the hi-hat. Shift click, oops, sorry, and shift click. We're going to drag and drop this down to the third track. Yeah, make sure you leave the timing on, like make sure it's checked off. Just to show you what will happen if you don't, if you don't, it'll, it'll make your track slide all over the place. It'll make your audio region slide all over the place and not lock to the grid. So we want it to lock to the grid. I hope that's lined up. Now we can play it. Still sounds the same as the loop, but now we can do stuff like
You can lower the volume. You can pan. If you hit Alt, sorry, if you hit Alt and the button, it'll go back to the natural position, okay? So yeah, now you can add effects to your, your different parts. So now you can add an effect to the snare without adding it to the kick. So let's say we want to add like a uh, channel strip. Now I could process the snare without processing anything else. I might EQ out some of the low end. Press it. You can do any. You can do anything to each part at that point. You're not just um, processing a whole loop anymore. You're processing the parts in the loop, which you know is more flexible to you know processing and great for and it's great for if you're gonna hand it off to a mixing engineer to have your stuff on separate tracks. Okay, so. I hope this video helped. Like I said, it's going to be real quick and short. Showing you how to chop a break beat inside the MPC software. If you have any questions, uh, leave them below in the comments. And also, let me know where you're from. Drop it in the comments. I want to know where everybody's from. Uh, I'm from New York. I'm from the Bronx originally, but now I'm living in up upstate New York. Um, let me know where you're from. Put it down in the comments. And I'm responding back to everybody. All right. Make sure you get my free drum kit. It'll be in the description below. Make sure you uh, check out Loop Cloud. That'll be in the first link in the description below. And check out all the goodies in the description too. Um, it's your man Jimmy Conway, beatsforlyricist.com, music production tips. Follow me at, at Beats for Lyricist on Instagram and Twitter. And I'm out. Peace.